beginning in verse 6. Just a couple verses. It says, Both we and our fathers have sinned. We have committed iniquity. We have done wickedness. Our fathers, when they were in Egypt, did not consider your wondrous works. They did not remember the abundance of your steadfast love, but rebelled by the sea, at the Red Sea. Yet he saved them for his namesake, that he might make known his mighty power. As we kind of think about this 2020 kind of coming to an end, uh, I don't want us to forget all that the Lord has done for us this year. Uh, for many of us, it has been hard. It's been challenging. It's been challenging for us as, as a nation, really as, as a world. Uh, but God's grace has been sufficient. God's grace has been powerful. Uh, we have seen salvations. We have seen uh, baptisms. We have seen people uh, be strengthened. We've seen marriages being uh, encouraged. We've seen children uh, put their faith in Christ. So if you look at this, um, it says, we have sinned, we've committed iniquity, we've done wickedness, speaking about uh, Israel here. And then it says verse 7, which uh, this is just really striking to me. Our fathers, when they were in Egypt, they did not consider your works. So we don't want to be like the, the Israelites who were in Egypt, and they didn't see the works of God. They didn't see all the things that God did. And really, specifically here, he's talking about the, the way God brought the plagues down upon the Egyptians and spared the people of, of Israel. And it says right here, it says, they did not remember the abundance of your steadfast love. Uh, listen, we have to always remember the abundance of the steadfast love of God, even in the midst of, of trial, because God uses those trials in our lives to do what? To sanctify us, to purify us, so that we can bear uh, more fruit. They did not remember the abundance of the steadfast love. So I do not want us as a church, as we think about 2020 closing, not to remember the steadfast love of the Lord, how kind he has been to us. Uh, we were just, I've been thinking about this past week of how generous and how kind God has been to our church in giving us so many godly men and women who love the Lord Jesus Christ, who love the church, and who, who want to make his gospel known in our town, in our, in our uh, state, and in the world. That is a glorious thing. Uh, but these people, the Israelites, look at verse, the end of verse 7, but they rebelled by the sea at the Red Sea. So you think about this picture is that God has already delivered them from Egypt, right? They were slaves and God brought plague after plague after plague after plague to show his mighty power. And if you read through Exodus, what do you see? So that you would know that I am the Lord, that you would know that I am the Lord. And he brought that final plague down. And the, the Passover lamb was, was, the blood was spread over the door and the Lord passed over their sins. And, and God showed his abundant love to the people of God by sending over the Passover lamb. And they fleed Egypt and they got to the Red Sea. And what does it say? They rebelled at the Red Sea. They saw the Red Sea and they said, our God is not powerful enough to get us through this. But they forgot all that God had done. And I don't want us to be like the Israelites, to be at the brink of the Red Sea, to think that God cannot get us through that. God has already delivered us from Egypt. He's delivered us through Christ, has he not? Our, our, our sins have been paid for. Our resurrection has been given. And then verse 8, Yet he, the Lord, saved them for his name's sake, that he might make his mighty, known his mighty power. So even when God showed kindness to the Israelites by doing what? By parting the Red Seas, by the seas going up and them walking across on, on dry land. Praise God for his kindness. But he didn't do it because of the, the sweet, kind hearts of the Israelites. He did it because of his own name. He did it because of, to display his own power. And let us never forget that God does not save us uh, because of our goodness, he saves us by his mercy and by his grace. 
so that we can always rejoice and glorify God and remember the abundance that he's given us. The abundance, the abundance of his love is not because we deserve his love, but because we don't deserve it. That's why he, he gives it. So I pray as we kind of turn the chapter on 2020 that we would look forward to the, the year that is ahead, remembering that we should be even more humble in 2021 because God has, has continued to show us his grace, right? Because, beloved, we have sinned much in 2020, and God's grace has been sufficient. We will sin much in 2021, and God's grace will be greater even still of our sin. Father, we pray that we would not be like the Israelites and rebel against you after we see your mighty, glorious works, but, oh God, I pray that we would remember always the abundance of your steadfast love. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.